Easy, man. Let's get the other square up in here, right. Black Jesus Ministry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Once again, Captain Tazariot, we bringing in the GOAT. All right, peace and black power family. Welcome to another Sound Letter TV House of Consciousness Deduction. I am your host, and you know we got the weigh in going down with Elder Yara and Black Jesus Minister, who claims to be the GOAT. So that is the question Is Black Jesus Minister the GOAT? Um, what do you feel? Why do you think that you are the GOAT amongst all these great men? And Hebrew Israelites that you've been facing, that you've been battling, what makes you feel that you're the GOAT? Shouldn't the people give you that title instead of you self-proclaiming that title? I have been bringing correction to the Israelite community from day one, 10 years ago. And let me show my brother Zion Lex something. And let me show y'all something real quick. Let me show y'all some, some hardware real quick. See, this is the goal right here. Why you sitting up here, uh, 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 you know, second guessing how great black Jesus Mr. is in Christ, in Christ. Don't let me make you all think that I'm puffing myself up. That's why I named myself black Jesus minister. That the true Christ Messiah would be exalted every time you say my name. Brothers and sisters, what do we have here, brothers and sisters? Y'all see this? That's huh? the sun of the studios. Or what? Yes, sir. That's the sun of the studios. Yes, sir. Tempest. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is my this is the hardware uh uh brother uh 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 uh, uh Zion Lex. You ain't got this. You've been here 10 years before me. You ain't got this, bro. Okay? And Yara's over there licking his chops, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's moving right now because everybody wants this. This is what everybody wants. This oh. is the goddamn gold, goddammit. You hear me? It's a beast in this motherfucker. You can feel the energy. And your boy, Black Jesus Minister, the bishop, goddammit. Then been there and done that, God damn it! I do consider this brother to be the GOAT. I do consider this brother to be the GOAT. I do consider this brother to be the GOAT. I do consider this brother to be the GOAT. I would say he is the GOAT when it comes to the Bible and the Israelites. He's been beating up Israelites for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I am the goddamn GOAT. The undisputed GOAT. Can't nobody come over here and say that I have not held this title for five years straight. Five years straight! No, that came from me, y'all. I sent right. that to the brother. Right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's from me. Right you can there. see my name on it right there. Right. What are you talking about? That right. And my logo. All right. All right, um, so there it is. Let me let the Black Jesus Minister close this thing out. I saved the best for last. You are the goat up in this mother. You are the GOAT. I saved the best for last. You are the GOAT up in this mother. You are the GOAT. I saved the best for last. You are the GOAT up in this mother. You are the GOAT. So let's see if you use your GOAT status and close this thing out right, brother. All right, man. Oh, man. Yo, let me ask you, Black Jesus Minister. In being the GOAT, to the Hebrew Israelite doctrine and um, the apostle doctrine and all these guys that's coming up now. Do you feel some sense of hatred coming from these guys? It's like you got a target on your back now. And apostle, I mean, he he was he willing to shoot you with the 12 gauge, brother. So he just bought some new firearms, brother. How did you feel about this shit? He bought new firearms. Uh, well, in actuality and in all truth, it's Black Jesus Minister who has been on the attack, running people down, chasing people down, even clout chasing, as Brother Tazariak loves to say. Because, yes, Tazariak, you were well known before I was. Brother Polite was well known before I was. Yes, indeed, brother. Okay. And I had to clout chase Brother Polite like I've chased everybody as a ecclesiastes three christian brother running people down kicking their ass running people down 
kicking their ass, bro, for 10 years, bro. Ain't nothing new, okay? But now, Brother Tazariak, I am the goddamn clout. I am the goddamn goat, brother. Undisputed, bro, okay? And so, uh, and I came by way of defeating Polite and many other brothers and sisters of all persuasions, of all religious persuasions, spiritual persuasions, for over 10 years, Brother Tazariak. And before you knew me as the bishop, before you knew me as the goat, Brother Tazariak, in 2018, I came to your platform on Cross the Effing Line Radio three to four times, introduced myself to you and White Jesus Chapter Zai and challenged of both of you brothers to a debate in 2018, three or four times, brother. And it's recorded. It's recorded, bro. Okay. And each time you guys muted and booted me off the show and refused my debate challenge, bro. And then I came over here to Sarnetta, to your platform, your platform, dear brother and became the debate champion by defeating the deck, the champion of the decade in six months, bro. In six months, I became the champion of the platform that you were on for 10 years, bro. Okay. And so dear brother and to Sarnetta, people being coming after me is not a problem because I'm always after them first, bro. I'm always on the offense, bro. Doesn't bother me one bit. Go ahead, brother. Son, hey, bl hey, Black right. Jesus, you got your Black Jesus ministry, hey, I'm a, right? Hey, hey, hold up, Captain. Oh, I'm Is sorry, it all man. right if I go make me some tea and let y'all two gentlemen work this thing out? Y'all think definitely. I can do that without me, man? Yeah. I ain't going to come yeah, back definitely. and hear no damn cat fight screaming and cursing each other no, out. Only, gonna, only person going to lose their mind is Black <laughs> Jesus. That's it. <laughs> all right, bro. Hold all right, me down. Do it right, man. Come I got on, you. Man. So, right. Black Jesus, you the GOAT, right? Uh, you heard it, bro. You saw it, didn't you? All right, no sweat. And then you got your Black Ministry, Black Jesus Ministries organization, right? Uh, yes, I do, bro. How many members you got? Uh, brother, my ministry is a internet ministry, brother. I don't have members and beg and cajole and deceive people into paying tithes and offers, bro. So in like 10 you years, are, bro, so, uh, brother, so okay, brother, let me finish my, can you let me finish my question though? If we could just I, not be too long winded, you I, I, see how quick I, I was with talking it. for barely 40, 30 seconds, bro. That's all I did. So let's go well, before back before that, forth. you was talking like five I, I, minutes brother, straight. Can we go back and forth? I'm not going to be long. Yes. That, yes, yes. I, I know. I, I'm not going to be long. You cut me mm -hmm. off after 30 or 40 seconds, bro. Okay. So my point to you is, brother, my ministry is an internet ministry, dear brother. Okay. And that was my objective 10 years ago. And brother, thanks to Sarnetta, my ministry and my brand and my name is known all over the world. I have fans all over the world. Thanks to the HOK, brother. People so now with the... Love... Okay, brother, I'm almost done. People who love me, people who follow me, and people who support me taking over the global Hebrew Israelite move. So in your 10 years that you got this internet ministries, what what does it produce? What has it done? Besides, oh, yeah. because it sounds because it sounds like all you do is talk about yourself. You self-proclaimed goat that uh, apparently Sarnetta agrees to, your internet fan base, because you got fans. Mm -hmm. But I believe Christ said you shall know them by their fruit. So what fruit can you produce to represent the success of Black Jesus Ministries? Uh, brother, the trophy that you saw in the video produced that there, brother. The friendships that I have made, the being accepted by many of the Israelite community and is and, and non one West Israelite camp members and camp leaders, brothers, brothers and sisters. And I'm not just talking about Israelites. I'm talking about people who are Muslims. I have a an elder who is a Muslim and who supports me and loves me and supports me because what? And Israelites who support me because of what? Comedics who, who support me because of what? Pan-Africans who support me because of what? And Christians who support me because of what? Because they support my ministry and my teaching and doctrine of unity, bringing the three Abrahamic faiths together and destroying all false doctrine from all persuasion 
including one West ISUPK doctrine that teaches us self-hatred and division. So when you talk about destroying something, first of all, that's not fruit. A trophy, when Christ said you shall know them by their fruit, he was not talking about a damn trophy. That's a selfish award because that's all about you. Prime example, when I was offered or, or told to come to the Sardinetta Awards, I declined it. Why? Because it's not about a trophy. If we boast, we boast in the most high. That's what the scriptures say. So even when you talk about your fruit, your fruit is really fruitless. So now you say you destroyed the one West. Last I checked, I should be K is still here. So if you're destroying us, why is I should be K still standing? Uh, brother, again, okay, hold on, brother. Again, brother, and I'm gonna ask you some questions because this is not gonna be a one way. No, street. no, no. Hey, just so you know, Black G, before before you go, wait, before you go, you, I'm only asking questions because you haven't asked any. This is oh, not okay. a you, you understand? You, yeah. So uh, you can go back and forth. Well, gotcha. I'm gonna answer this question and then I'm gonna right. ask you. Come a on with it. Questions. You do whatever okay. you want. Yeah. All right. Now, brother, I'd have to be a damn fool to sit up here and think that. Uh, 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 you know, uh, some, some, some crystal glass, uh, as a trophy is the fruit of my labor, bro. <clears throat> the fruit of my labor, brother, that's a symbol of the fruit of my labor, my, my labor. You mean to tell me that the NFL, uh, championship trophy, brother, that we just saw the Super Bowl trophy means nothing, bro? Really, bro? You don't believe that, do you, Tazariak? I think you're just jealous, Tazariak. Let's tell it like it is, bro. You being no. here, brother. I'm responding to you, brother. All I said was no. Oh, okay. That's no. fine, brother. But you interrupting, though. I didn't interrupt you. So, brother, I'm saying to you, dear brother, you're jealous, and you know goddamn well you will never meet the status that I have reached, brother. And you and Sarnetta, your brother, will never call you the GOAT. It is etched in stone and for history for all eternity, dear brother, that a Christian, brother, who you all love to denigrate and talk about all damn day, a Christian came over here to your platform, brother, and supplanted you and had you on the run for not three years to Zariac, five years to Zariac, five years, starting all the way back to 2018. Do you deny that? That's my first question, sir. Do you deny that I didn't that I came to your platform during 2018 and challenged you and Chapter Side to debate me, bro? Um, that possibly could be true because yeah, I yeah, do yeah, remember yeah. you. I do remember you calling into the show, but that's just so long ago. <clears throat> the fact that you bringing up um a comparison between you and I, right, shows how like the, the Bible in Second Thessalonians, the Lord said he would send strong delusion that they would actually believe a lie. And as I'm reading, going over that scripture, it reminds me of you. And I'll tell you why. Like if you was to make it a person to person, and the scripture I'm talking about is Second Thessalonians 2 and 11. It said, and for this cause, God shall send them strong illusion that they should believe a lie. And that's definitely you, because even if you just take the past five years, there is no comparison between you and I, none whatsoever. The reason why Styles Peace, there's this uh, rap song Reservoir Dogs Jay Z got on it on uh uh in vol in my lifetime volume two or three I believe, and there's a song Reservoir Dogs with the locks. Styles P got the hardest verse on there, and in that verse he says, "I don't give a fuck who you are, so fuck who you are. I don't care about your pretty bitch. Watch your car. I don't care about your block and whoever you shot." I don't care about your album whenever it drop. I don't care about your past. If I did, I would ask. He says, I'm 10 steps ahead of niggas shooting backwards just for practice. That's how I look at you. You're somebody that I shoot. Like, my guns is right there. So, like, you're somebody that I shoot backwards just for practice. So, in that five-year span, as I'm going higher up, and when I'm saying going higher up, doing the work of the most high going higher up you still chasing me if you were this far ahead shouldn't i be chasing you you shouldn't be ch you listen if you if you sold this person or this man you shouldn't have a reason to even think about me it's like oh man i got this trophy i'm the goat 
I'm the champion. They should be lining up. I'm shutting this down. I'm shutting that down. But you can't. Because all you do is clout chase me. That's all you do. So you don't have no fruit. All you got is a damn trophy from 2018 or 19, whenever. We're in 2023, brother. You haven't done nothing. You ain't got no growth. Black me, Black Jesus Ministries is a one-man show on your couch. That's all it is. You would. I remember, matter of fact, since we asked the yes or no questions, when I used to come to Houston, did I not tell you to come to Houston and come to my school? Uh, it's my yep. turn to ask questions, sir. No, this is simple yes or no, no, no and I'm no, going to no, finish. No, 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 it's my turn to ask questions. Can I Okay, but when you answer, wait, wait. Uh, brother. If, if yes, all you can do, brother, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay brother, okay. Hold on, Black Jesus. Okay, brother, yes. He's going to answer his right. question, and then we're going to yeah, 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 so yeah. Right, and I'm going to yield. I'm going to yield. I'm going to yield the right to you. You're kind of missing, so that he asked maybe like five questions. No, no, he's right. No, 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 Sahi cool. Sahi cool. Sahi cool. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm yeah, a yeah, year yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Brother, yes, you did invite me over to. Right. Uh, so now I invited you like three yeah. or four times to come to the school, but you too scared to come outside. How my man Mo3 said, they scared to come outside. <laughs> That's your ass. All right. All right. Black outside. Jesus. Before you go, right, let me say this, Captain. Now, okay, now, let me, let Hold me on, Black Jesus. I'm the, I'm the moderator. Relax. I'm going to let I you go. I got you, brother, but you left I'll, it up to us, bro. Let's I'm going to let, I'm back now. I I'm got back. you, brother. All right, so um, Captain Cesario, but, but both you of you. Got to let, hold on, hold on, Soleta. What you got to understand is I have you, you, you interrupted me in the process of asking him five questions. So I could have been finished can, already if you just be quiet. Asking my questions. If you just be quiet, I would have been uh, finished. Thank you, brother. Okay, but okay, brother. All, All right, right, so um, Soleta. Captain Cesario. All right. You, yes. you, and Black Jesus Minister have yeah. some um notches on your belt. You beat a lot of people. Black Jesus minister went through El Diara. He went through um, Neftali. Black Jesus beat one of our best of the best, Brother Polite. And Black Jesus beat somebody else. Who was that you beat up on, Black Jesus? Jabari. No, you ain't beat Jabari. Oh, uh, man, stop it, bro. No, I got you ain't beat you Jabari. Stop, now you crazy. Stop playing, bro. You ain't beat no Jabari. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, oh, oh, I got it. You beat, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop, stop. You right. beat Apostle. That's stop who you beat. Okay, you beat Apostle. Me, and I'm so, you therefore, you are the GOAT in that. And um, you no longer carry the belt because, you you know, if you forfeited, you gave it up. So, no, anyway. No, I, I haven't given up nothing, bro. Now, so, you tell him he's taking time, credit for beating a time, woman. Bro. So, he's taking credit okay, for beating a woman. A win is a win, brother. Hey, you got the mic. Hold on, bro. I was supposed to ask five questions. You done took over now. You sitting up here. That's five not years. my fault, Black Jesus. That's not my I'm fault. Not, I'm not blaming. I didn't say your name, uh, Tazari Yak. Calm down, bro. Now, uh, to, uh, since uh, since uh, uh, let me let me live with uh, uh, Tazari Yak's little weak ass, you know, question and 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 point. Now, Tazari Yak, brother, the reason why I never showed up to your camp and your uh, what well, y'all was having some kind of. Celebrate it wasn't an no event. It was just a school. No, no, no. Okay. I was. Okay. I, I used to travel to Houston that's a lot. Fine. I used to that's travel fine. to Houston a lot. It was just okay. coming to that's the school. Fine, brother. That's fine. Listen to me good, brother. I am an educated man, an intelligent man, and I didn't want to hurt your feelings, bro, to tell you what I'm about to tell you, but because you're sitting over here running your mouth, I'm going to have to hurt your feelings right now, bro. The real and what The reason why I have chosen not to be seen with you, bro, no, no name calling. No, I'm not, not no name calling. No, he could do whatever he no, wants. No, no, he could no, do no, and no, say no whatever he wants. Bro, it's no name. But I'm calling, saying bro. you could do whatever you bro, want. But like, I don't care bro, what you say. So can I finish talking, bro? First of all, let me say this real quick. I've told you this before, and I've and I'll say it again, brother. I like you, brother, and I'm not talking in any kind of. Uh, 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 yeah, you said you would kiss me. Brother, Remember, he brother, brother. Oh, Remember he said he would kiss me, Sadnetta? Oh, Remember he said he would grab you by the beard? Oh, Gay Lord. ass nigga. Oh, <laughs> Gay oh, ass nigga. You got let him talk, Captain. You got let him talk. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'm going to mute my mic. I'm going to mute my mic. I'm going to mute my mic. But you did say you did say you lean in and kiss me. Let him talk, Captain. Come on, man. Can you be quiet, scrub ass nigga? Because, see, you're the clout chaser right now. You're the clout chaser. I'm the goddamn clout, bro. I'm the bishop. I'm the goat of all times, the greatest of all times. You will never be that. Mm. Why? Because I chased you and you ran for five years, bro. 
Damn. Five. Count them, brother. One, two, three, four, five. God damn, Cap. Shame on you. Shame on your leaders who made you weak and cowardly. Everybody has witnessed you even on this platform with Sarnetta begging you, almost on his knees, begging you to the baby. Oh, well, black Jesus minister, he got to apologize to me. He got to apologize <laughs> to my brother, white Jesus. He Jesus. right, he right, stop. Captain, he right. Oh, stop it, man. He right. Stop playing. You only playing with the dumb niggas, bro. Okay? <laughs> Stop it, bro. Now you are cloud chasing me. You asking uh. me for a debate. Woo! What the shit. hell? I didn't ask your little scrubby ass for a debate. I got tired of asking your big scrubby ass for a debate, nigga. Okay? And I told everybody on this platform multiple times, even Sarnetta, multiple times, I said, Sarnetta, I don't want to debate to Zaria. I'm tired of chasing that big, scary-ass nigga. I didn't came to your platform, became the champion of your platform, brother. Then, and, then, and then I stepped down off of my high horse to give you a chance to shine, nigga, to debate me, and you ran for four more years, nigga, starting in 2019, when I became the champion of your debate platform. That you have never won a championship on this platform in 10 years, and I did it in six months. Goddamn. You are the goddamn clock chaser, bro. You asked me. You're begging me for a debate, sir, and I got the text to prove it. Don't play with me, bro. I'm the one in charge. You ain't in charge of a goddamn thing, bro. But your little dumbass followers and your dumbass men that you are the captain of because I said that I own you, I own all of ISUPK, General Johanna, General Mahiman, and everybody who's up under you. I own you niggas. One man army. You right about that. I'm a goddamn one man army, bro. Because I believe in the word of my God. That my God says that one can put a thousand to flight. And Are we going to put a time on limit on this? Uh, yeah, I'm almost done. I'm just. I'm almost done. Okay. And God, and that, and that two can put ten thousand to flight, Tazariak. Now here's my question to you, Tazariak. Now Tazariak, my name is George LeBlanc, bro, and I live in Houston, Texas, and I'm a 55 year old man. You can Google me up, brother, and my name is on my Facebook page. And this handsome brother over here to the left of your screen in the, in the top left, his name is Frank Gary, Living's, and he lives in New York, and I believe son that is 60 now. Brother, I don't even know who the hell you are. Now, brother, the last time I checked that if you are a man of God, that means that you must be transparent and righteous. So I'm going to ask you and try to get to know you for the first time hiding behind your little made up ass name, bro. Who the hell are you? What is your birth legal name, brother Tazariak? Introduce yourself to us for the first time, dear brother. Go right ahead. That's my question. All right, before I do the question, right? That's why I got you. I wanted you to admit that I've invited you to come to my school in Houston every time I was there, at least three times, which you admitted to. So when you try to say this whole running, you ran from an in-person conversation just so you can hide behind in that funky ass couch with that same old red hat that you got. That's the first thing. Second thing, you keep talking um about, uh, I guess, uh, winning and I haven't won nothing. Or you're the clout and you got text messages to prove it. You, the text messages in my phone is from your initial contact with me after I called you out because all you do is talk about ISUPK. I think it was just like four weeks ago you was on a live stream talking about ISUPK again. I don't talk about people that are beneath me. So if you really felt we was beneath you, why would you talk about us? I don't talk about you. I want to punch a lot of people in the face. Spiritual. I'm talking about doctrinally. So that's what all this is about. It started 
last week with your boy Ghetto Prez that you admitted I beat him. So after I did Ghetto Prez, I said, I'm going to go on a triathlon of beating everybody that's been talking shit. You're one of them. So you're one of the ones that's going to get his ass whipped if you get in the ring with me. So I did Ghetto Prez. Then I did Shaka. Then I did Albi. This week, it's your turn. That's all it is. And after I punch you in the mouth, you'll go right back to chasing my tail again. Cap, I want a round two. I want to do this. That wasn't like this. This scripture said this. I guarantee you when this shit is over, I'm not going to talk about you no more. But you'll never stop talking about me. That's your obsession. You'll never stop talking about Commander Jenny Hanna. You'll never stop talking about my school. As far as my name, anybody can go to my business page and see my name. My name is not hidden. If you go to my website or if you place an order, it's going to have my name. I'm the owner of the business. So if you want my name, you can go there. It's not hidden at all. But my born name. Just like Peter, just like Simon, my born name is Tazar Yahweh. That is my name because that's the name when I came in and was born again through Yahweh Shamashiach and the Most High. That is my name. I didn't take Christ's name and make it a form of self praise like you did. Earlier, you said, I took the name Black Jesus. Every time y'all say that name, you venerating him. But really, it's about venerating yourself. Why would you take the name Black Jesus unless you wanted self-praise? I'll take the name that was given to me, which is Tazar Yak, which means stronghold or castle. That's why I could stand here strong and I'm unmovable. As powerful as you think you are, you're really fucking weak. That's why you keep talking about me. I don't talk about y'all until I want to come outside. And the minute I call Sadnet up, I call Sadnet Asa. I'm ready to punch all these niggas in the mouth. They keep talking shit. They keep talking shit. And let me tell you what Sinetta said. Sinetta said, the minute you tell them that you want to debate, they're going to run. And your ass ran initially. That's why I had to do the car chronicles and call your ass out. And then mm. when I called your ass out, then you send me a text. Then instead of going back and forth with the text, I call you and say, you can pick any title, any subject. Damn. And the subject you picked was regeneration hell and was a serpent in the garden had four legs three dumbass topics but i'll take them and i'm gonna beat the shit out of you it's just that simple black so jesus. Are we to good black yes, jesus sir. um can you get to something interesting because you're saying that your doctrine is better than his can you give us an example of what you teach and what he teach pertaining to the bible what do they get wrong pertaining to the bible other than the 12 tribe chart, because we got a debate set up for that. So right. what is it that you teach that outshines what they teach that they got wrong? Yeah. Uh, let me uh, finish off with my last two or three questions. So that I heard you. Uh, now to hey, if I could, that, before you go, Black Jesus, and I'm doing it right before you go, if we can kind of limit both of us, maybe because like I went long, you're going long. And so, and it just becomes repetitive. I'm, the, now. I'm not talking. No, no, right, right. So, yeah, so we could keep it like two minutes. And my response won't be long either. I think right. that's fair. I'm asking a question. Right, my sure. question ain't going to be long. Now, brother, I'm <clears> going <throat> to ask you again, Tazaria. I am asking you to prove that you are a man of God as you claim to be and that you are transparent and you sat up here and round talk and didn't answer my question, sir. What is your mama and daddy birth name that your mama and daddy gave you, bro? We want to know who the hell you are. I don't know you, sir. I don't know who the real you is, bro. I don't want to hear nothing about your, you know, your ISUPK born again name. I want to know who, what is your birth legal name, bro? What is that? Introduce you trying to get, to are you trying yeah, to have brother, a brother, brother, introduce yourself to the people for the first time in your life, for the first time in your life, be transparent so that we can make sure that you're not a registered pedophile or sex offender, bro. I'm Captain Tazaria Gavai. She became the commander general Hanna. Unless you as a homosexual man wants to know me personally, I don't know why you keep asking for my real name or what you say with my mama name me. What Christ named me and what the most high name me and the name that I got is far more important. That man died. Biblically speaking, it says we must put off the former conversation, the old man. Don't you know the Bible? 
the old man let me let me let me read this let me read this real fast it says this is ephesians let me just get it real fast uh this is ephesians 4 and 22 it says that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is who you asking about you asking about my old man so you can't even follow what the books say the books say put off the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to deceitful lust that's my old man so why do i want to talk about him he died verse 23 and be renewed in your spirit be renewed in the spirit of your mind verse 24 and that ye put on the new man which after god is created in righteousness and true holiness so i don't know why you so obsessed with me it's giving me a real feminine you know vibe you know real feminine spirit i don't know why you so obsessed with me so my name is Tazar Yak. That's my name. That's what my father gave me. And if you want to know which father I'm talking about, I can go further. Hebrews 12. Oh no, you can stop right there, but you really no, I, along, I, I, when, when you, you really call the scripture, along, this is the last scripture. I'll be done with the scripture. Hebrews 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. That's my father. And we gave them reverence. My father was Carl. We I get I give him reverence to the day. My business is named after my father. It's called Carl Gas Collections. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Body bag. You got yeah. your next All question? All right, uh, brother. Oh, uh, to, uh, you, bro. uh, yeah, I got two more questions. So let okay. Uh, now, uh, brother Thank Tazariak, uh, brother, um, did you not run away, run from me and my numerous requests to debate me in 2018, brother? 19. 20 21 and 22 the only thing i do know is that there was one time sinetta called me you was on the phone and if sign good look at uh sinetta called me you was on the phone that's why you smile i'm gonna cut your ass again sinetta called me had you on the phone as we trying to work out having a debate i said you know what i'll do the debate we trying to work it out and what happened on the phone getting a big argument sinetta's a witness <laughs> And we hang up the phone. So you can't say I'm running when you couldn't even be cordial and setting up a pre-debate. Now I'm going to use somebody else as an example. My man Chris Harris was kind of the same way. When me, Sarnetta, and Chris was on the phone together, Chris was a little irate. Sarnetta hangs up the phone. I end up calling Chris without Sarnetta. Chris was a different person. We was able to work it out. And then we called Sarnetta. Did the same thing with you on Sunday. Because y'all don't know how to be professional. You don't. When it comes to setting up debates, if I'm calling you about setting up the debate, don't be in your black Jesus character. Be George, since you want to talk about George. Uh -oh. Be simple as be simple, Simon as George that's trying to come up with a subject. And then when it's time to debate, then you could go be I'm black Jesus minister, slanging and banging, balling and calling. You funny. Are <laughs> uh, you the funny nigga? I ain't gonna lie. You the funny dude, but you can't be in character when we're trying to get the subject together. So, yes, I did try to accept it, but you wasn't professional enough in it. That's the answer uh, to your that question. Is you true. Got that is true. I agree with that. I was there. Uh, That's now, right. what, what, what year you was got one more question? Hold on, hold on, I don't know what year. I don't know what year. I got one more question. I don't know what year. No, I'm saying I don't know what year. It was last year. It was last year. No, no, that wasn't no damn last year. I think it might have been 20. It might have been like two years ago. About two years ago. Now, my point is about two years ago, ever since then, brother, son, Ned has been asking you to bait me, bro. And we got you on video saying, boo hoo hoo, black Jesus minister is a bad man. And he hurt my feelings, and he talks about me and my brothers, and he got to apologize. <laughs> big ass nigga, get your big ass down somewhere, bro. Stop lying to the people, bro. Now look here, man. I did like, say Come that. on, man. Turn bro, it up, bro. Black Jesus. My last question. My last question. Cesaria, mm -hmm. can you prove and will you, with your lying ass, won't tell us who you are? Will you prove and can you prove and will you prove and come on this show and let Sarnetta open up the platform and give you as much time as you want? Can you prove, sir, that you are an Israelite, nigga? Yeah, I prove it. I prove that already every day, every time I go teach. Um, <laughs> we teach from the biblical narrative. Those are the descendants of the slaves that were brought over here on cargo slave ships. We are the Israelites. So now that I've answered that question, we can get to no, 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 no. You said we. I said you. 
Well, I, okay, I never speak. On I, uh, one one second. So on the reason why you hear me, the reason you're no, no. on Israelite. I answered that already. The reason why I say we is because I speak collectively. Okay, but I didn't answer about no damn we. I said you, I bro. I just just for the record, I don't mind you interrupting me, but when I do it to you, I don't want to hear shit out your mouth. Don't start crying oh. like a girl. So now I said the first thing I said was I do it all the time. I answered you. I said when we teach that those of us that are descendants of slaves that were brought over here on cargo slave ships are the descendants of the Israelites. Then I said we. But the first thing, listening is an art, simple nigga. Listening is an art. And so when the first thing I said was, I do it already. Then I put the we because I speak collectively. <laughs> now that I got your last question, let's get to Sarnetta's question. Okay, so here we go. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to say this before, and I'm happy that my slogan is beginning to go and pass and go around. You know, I don't say, let me land my plane. I say, let me park my car. I always say, listening is an art. <laughs> and so a lot of people pick that up now, and they don't want to get- You saying I art. got that from you? Everybody got it from I you. Because I say probably, that. You probably got it from somebody else, but I said okay. it before I even knew you, Captain. I've been saying that okay. when I was okay. with okay. Brother Dao, with Phil Valentine, when we was filming. So the people okay. know- Okay, I got you. Okay, I get that. what you're saying. That's a, you probably got it somewhere else. But I get what you're saying. I've been right, saying that for, saying. for damn near 20 years. Listen, because I got it an like, art. yeah, because I've like, also you know, been saying, um, hating is a disease. You can see that on my DVD. You yeah, now the hating is a right disease. Yeah, I got, I got that. Hating right, is I got a that. disease. Right. So I've been saying all of that, and now my shit starting to pick up and get momentum. I'm glad you run it with it, Captain. That's good. You get yeah, I've been there. saying that I got it from uh, when they say you got to be more adept to listening than to speak. And so I yeah. just said listening is yeah, an that's art. Cool, though. That's yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So what I got for you, Black Jesus, being that you saying that you are the goat uh, and you think, you know, the Bible more and better than Captain Cesario, I would like for you to challenge him on the Bible, on the book. Come at him with some scriptures, brother, like he's. He's busting your ass right now. He's pulling scripture <laughs> when you call him. He's calling out scriptures and doing all this shit. So get to get to some scriptures, brother. You got the floor. over here holding his hand, trying to stroke. No, his I'm knee, not. Bro. No, I'm not, brother. Help him out. No, I'm not, brother. This is bad, bro. Now again, uh, uh brother Sonetta, I, I will use this as an example. Uh, first of all, all one with Hebrew Israelites. And all of you, brothers and sisters, every last one of you are my brothers and sisters. But including Tazariak himself and his leadership, Yohanna and, and uh, Mahiman, and the majority of your uh, of One West Israelites, you, brothers and sisters, were never raised up in the church, never raised up in the word of God. The, the overwhelming majority of you are street niggas. And I love my brothers from the street. I love y'all. The majority of you are convicts and ex-convicts. Have never been raised, brother, born and raised and rooted in the word of God. You're just a bunch of wild niggas. You hear me? And all of you uneducated, wild, unchurched, heathen-ass niggas have come together and, with, and, and your leaders have what they have done is they have uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? They have stolen a movement of God. They have hijacked a, ru a real and true movement of God. Okay? Manipulating the people and manipulating you, Tazarek. You don't know. Are you going to ask them a question, brother, yeah, yeah. pertaining to the Bible? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And so and 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 there's many wild and crazy doctrines that you guys come up with and you make up stuff all along the way. And for example, and 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 and, and not only do you make up stuff but you adopt certain things. When you say that hell is a place on earth or a condition on earth, that ain't nothing new, bro. People who have hated the Bible to Zariac, people who denied the Bible to Zariac are the ones who created the phrase that hell does not exist and is a condition on earth. But you uneducated street niggas and convicts and ex-convicts don't know no goddamn better. 
and you teach the people that hell is not a real place, but it is a condition on earth because you all don't know no better. And I'm telling you that hell is a real place. And that is one of the topics that I'm going to challenge you on if we come to an agreement because nothing is set in stone yet. We don't even know if the people are going to pay for our debate. Because Do you I have a said, question, brother? Do you have a question? Do I have a question? Yes. Yeah. So again, to Zariac, do you agree that other people before- A biblical God question, brother. Existed, biblical. Get into the Bible. Get into the yeah, Bible. I am. I am. I'm talking about hell. Do you agree to Zariac that there are other people before ISUPK ever existed that said that hell is not a real place, but a condition on earth. Did you not learn that and adopt that from non-Bible believers, sir? Yes or no? Hey, so I know that this is why I say that listening is an art, because he didn't even hear your damn question. Mm -hmm. For him to teach his position, he has to show what his proof that hell is a place you die and go to in the Bible. All this nigga did is talk. If y'all scroll up, y'all going to see I put in the chat, he ain't going to bring nothing out of the Bible. Now, one thing, he didn't say nothing out of the Bible. Me, of course, me being intellectually superior, street superior. And when you talk about Christians, we none of us come from Christian back. Most street niggas are Christians. Most street niggas have come from the church. That's a fact. If they ain't come from the church, they came from the Muslim mind. So that's idiotic. My, my grandfather was a pastor. My father was in the church. My mama had me in the church. So saying I ain't got no Christian background is also idiotic. That's how I'm even further superior when I actually get the truth of the book. So, for example, when I read Deuteronomy 32 and 22, it says for this. This is how you intellectually beat the shit. When I say I was going to punch y'all in the face, punch y'all in the mouth. This is how you intellectually punch somebody in the mouth. Deuteronomy 32 and 22 for a fire is kindled in my anger and shall be burned to the lowest hell. This is the Lord talking. So now he's saying it shall burn to the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains talk about governments or principalities verse 3, 23 i will heap mischiefs upon them i will spend mine arrows upon them this is going this is punishment he's given to people that he's calling hell which is why we say a condition let's go to psalms second samuel's i'm sorry let's go to psalms one second, I'm going to show you what David said, because David was alive and well when he made these statements. So when he says in Psalms 18 and 5, this is what David said. David said, the sorrows of hell come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. David was an alive man. But why did he say the sorrows of hell come past him about? Was he in hell when he said it? Or was the condition that he was in was that hell? So when you make these statements, I need you to tell me what that is. If I go to Jonah 2 and 2, it says, And said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I. So you're telling me Jonah crying to the most high from hell that you say you can't talk to the most high from hell, and then he come out of hell and then able to talk and go to the people of Nineveh? So now I guess niggas just got visiting passes to go to and from hell. They just go down to hell, then they come back from hell and say, hey, what's up, man? I want to deliver you all this message. You don't make no fucking sense. So bring your Bible verse. Listen, like I said, you're a funny nigga. you funny, you balling, you crawling, all that bullshit. But now we in the big leagues where you have to mm. have book, chapter, and verse. Damn. All that shit you beating them. Them people that you mentioned that you beat, they don't mean shit. They don't mean nothing. So now I need your book, chapter, and verse. Floor yours. Damn, Black just got a man. Oh, so let's go. And you gotta counter what brother. I said. Tell me the scriptures I said was wrong. Because uh, that's brother. what I do. Okay, brother. If you if need the scriptures you, again, brother, let brother, me know. I'll give me, bro, them to you. Bro. Okay, brother. Now, brother, if I if I if if I allow you to debate me, because see, this is me giving you a leg up and giving you the privilege to debate me, nigga. You ain't in charge of nothing, brother. You don't run a goddamn thing over here at HOK, bro. I do, bro, because I'm the goddamn GOAT. I'm the champion, bro, okay? and that's Are you going to do another 20-minute rant, no, no, man? I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, you got to so go I'm, into I'm, the I'm, scriptures I'm, I'm on them, man. I'll finish your scripture in a second. Finish your scripture real quick. 
So and I got to and I, I got to respond to what you said, Sonetta, about me not defeating Jabari. Now, now, Sonetta, I'm sick and tired of you telling that damn you lie. You see what Judah Nazareth oh, said, bro, 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 bro. Come on, Sonetta, I'm addressing you right now. All right. I am sick and tired of you making these people in the chat in the HOK family stupid and dumb as hell. Now I will, I will uh, uh, put five hundred dollars up. You put five hundred dollars up, and we will go over that debate. You play it here on your platform. You hear me? And I will show you and prove to you and like you know that I defeated Jabari in that debate, especially when Jabari said yes, he agreed with the uh, scholarly consensus that Jesus is historical. End of debate, bro. Okay? So you can lie to Jabari all you want to, lie to all the stupid niggas all you want to, that Jabari won that debate. When Jabari has said multiple times, and in that debate, that he agrees with the scholarly consensus that Jesus is historical. Now, back to Tazariak. Now, Brother Tazariak, uh, that is one of our potential debate titles because nothing is set in stone, okay? And, uh, and the only reason it's going to be set in stone if we agree on this money. You hear me? And we agree that this is going to be a ticketed debate. Once we work all of that out, then we will conclude what we're going to debate on. We've been talking about it. We're going to finalize everything once the money is up front, bro. Okay. Now, let me show you a scripture because I'm not going to give you no more information because I'm going to whoop your ass in that debate on that topic on hell being real because you and your leaders have lied to you and they've lied to you because you don't know no goddamn better. You are an ignorant brother. You hear me? And I'm going to educate you like a Christian, bro. Now, let me show you another issue that you all teach. And I saw you sitting down at the feet of my hymen teaching you this goddamn madness that all of you clown Israelites uh, say and teach that there were other human beings besides Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were not the first. You all believe that there were other human beings besides Adam and Eve who were created besides Adam and Eve, bro. Let me show you how stupid you are. You hear me? Let me bring up uh, my screen. Should be sharing. Share my screen, Sarnetta. This is an example of how I'm going to take you and just whoop your ass, man. You hear me? Uh, with a non-related topic. Look at uh, Genesis 20, Genesis 3 and 23. You see that right there, Sarnetta? Genesis 3 and 23. You see that? Sarnetta, holler at me. Somebody holler at me. Y'all see my screen? Yeah, I see your screen. Thank you you see much. your screen, brother. It says yeah, right here, screen. and Adam called his wife named Eve because she was the mother of all living to Zariac. Do you see the phrase right here, brother? All the living, bro. Do you see that, bro? See, I'm reminded of you sitting in that class, sitting at the feet of my hymen with his dumb ass teaching you that there were other human beings. I saw you in that classroom, listening to that dumb nigga. All of your, both of your leaders are some dumb ass niggas. That's why they have been running from me for five years, bro. So how the stupid hell to Zariac are you going to continue to believe my hymen with his dumb ass and Johanna with his big dumb ass? When the word of God is telling you right here that she is the mother of all the living. Do you understand the word? Bring it out. Bring it out, Black living? Jesus. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Do you understand the word? Go all in. Living? Now, you can respond, bro. Oh, you said I could respond? Yes, sir. Oh, this, yeah. hey, hey, turn your goddamn screen off. This nigga is fucking retarded. We went from talking about hell, and Sinetta's question was to show your doctrine is better than mine. And you bring up hell, and when I beat the shit out of you and pull Deuteronomy 32, Psalms 18, Jonah 2 and 2, and show you how the Bible is saying what hell is, now this nigga run to Adam and Eve. Now this nigga talk. You, you ain't black Jesus. You white Jesus. That nigga went right to money just like them Chris. That nigga is definitely a Christian because <laughs> nobody ain't nobody paying for this shit, man. For you, for you to do this that we get for free? When you think about somebody paying for a debate, they're looking to get some type of scholarly information that makes the $20 worth it. Present something 
that makes that twenty dollars worth it. If you can't present nothing, my Friday time slot is open all day. Friday is open all day. We can do this debate live now. Since you want to talk about Adam and Eve, now we want to talk about Adam and Eve. He says Adam and Eve are the only people on the planet. So if I go to Genesis 4, excuse me, if I go to Genesis 4, when Cain killed his wife, Cain clearly says, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say Cain killed his wife. When Cain killed his brother, Cain's question to God was, all that's excuse me this is genesis 4 and 15 and the lord said unto him therefore who so i'm sorry 14 behold thou has driven me out this day from the face of the earth and from thy face shall i be hid and i shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me when it talks about eve being the mother all living it's the same thing as adam getting the breath of life which I'm going to explain as soon as I finish this. So now the Lord says, Who, whosoever. Now, the Lord don't say it's only Adam and Eve. You ain't got nobody to worry about. The Lord say, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken sevenfold. And so now it says that Cain went from the presence of the Lord. That means he's leaving the presence of the Lord. He's leaving Adam. He's leaving Eve. And then it says, and he dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And then it says, and Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built the city and called the city after the name of his son Enoch. So if it's only Adam and Eve and Cain at this time, where's he getting his wife from? I mean, where's he getting his wife from unless that's the case? Now, to show you the life that is talking about where Adam and Eve is not uh, carnal, but spiritual, when you go to Deuteronomy, hold on one second, I'm just searching it. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 19. This is what he's saying to living people. It says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death. Life is the commandments. So the same breath of life or instructions that Adam was given, that's what he gave to Eve. Adam is the first, Eve is the second, but they're already alive. That's why it says, choose, excuse me, I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Therefore, choose life. They're already alive. So why is he saying choose life if they're already alive? I can go even further. If I go to the book of Baruch chapter four, you can't fuck with me with the Bible. Y'all be wondering why I don't entertain these guys. This should be clear, but I'm going to punch them all in the mouth so y'all can stop saying Cap be running. Cap just don't have time for peons. Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but they're alive when they're receiving the instructions. It clearly says all they that keep it shall come to life but such as leave it shall die it's not talking about them physically coming to life or physically dying it's talking about them spiritually coming to life and spiritually dying black jesus i need you to counter the scriptures i brought out on hell being a condition on earth and these scriptures i just brought out just now now if you were hok champion i got the trophy and I got all this. Bring your scriptures, nigga. Because we ain't, we ain't, I ain't heard a scripture yet. This, that Adam and Eve, you brought out one scripture. I done brought out eight. Count on my scriptures and bring your scriptures. Where they at, nigga? Come on. Come on. Don't turn the camera off. Put the camera back on. That nigga probably got tears. He's got towels and shit. He probably got towels and shit. This the real big leagues, nigga. Come on. Turn the camera on, brother. Turn the camera oh, back on, about, nigga. What you changing your hat? <laughs> what you took your hat off? You changing your hat? You changing your yeah. outfit? You want a Hebrew hey, garment? Captain Tazaria. What's up, I son? Always tell these dudes be careful what you ask for <laughs> because you just might get it. And yeah. so, yeah. Come on, yeah, Black right, Jesus. Now. Turn the camera uh, on, bro. Excuse me, excuse me, brother. Excuse me, bro. And before and before you uh, say bro, that, Black Jesus, there's a. You be quiet, bro. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to highlight. You gave up the floor. 
You no, no, I just want to highlight this brother. Just it's not about you, real oh, fast. Oh Lord, bro. You I just want to highlight this one. Like brother. Jesus, just relax. You're not even well, live yet. I, I, I didn't say nothing. He said it was my turn. All right, but okay, you, you got it. No, no, bad. Go ahead, yeah, Go ahead, Captain. No, no, no. Yeah, put the camera on, nigga. That's what we wait. No, I just want the camera. We need to see your face. Let me let me teach you a lesson. Bro. Um, hold on, hold nigga, on, hold we on. want to see hold your on, face. You can't teach me shit. Hold on for a minute. Everybody, hold on. Everybody, hold on. I want y'all to be prepared. Tonight is going down at 8 o'clock. I got Brother Garfield and the champion Neftali of FOPE is getting in the ring with Brother Garfield. And um, I tried to tell Garfield. I tried to warn him. I said, Brother, do not sleep on Neftali. And so Garfield will be sparring with Neftali. This is going to be one y'all don't want to miss. I'm giving this to y'all. But y'all going to have to show some love and support. Throw that link in there for the debate with Captain Tazoriak and uh, Chris Harris, y'all. Y'all need to start getting it now. This is going to be one y'all don't want to miss. And then we got Shock Up most coming up with Captain Tazoriak. We've been trying to get that shit done for like damn near six, seven years. All right? And so, Black Jesus, you got the floor, brother. On my camera, not when you say so, but when I feel ready to do that. Oh man, you are now, drama I, I queen, will turn man. it on so that, but not right now. Just to show to teach this La thing, lack right? of professionalism bro, on quiet, his part. Bro. He's a square. Bro, okay, you you can't be quiet, can you, bro? All right, Cap, let him go. Let him go, Cap. All right. Now, uh, brother Tazarek, just like you said, listening is an art, brother. I told you, bro, that I'm not going to give you no pre-information. Uh, 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 about my uh, my information on the topic that we might debate on in regards to hell. I'm not going to give you no information, bro. Okay? Now, I, I'm, I'm using another example to show you how dumb you are and how dumb your leaders are, Yohanna and Mahayman, and you need to call them while you got time while I'm talking. You need to call them right now and tell them to tune in and to come sit right oh, here man. at the Brother, you got people. Captain in front of your face, man, and you keep talking about other people. Bro, man. bro, bro, excuse me. This, uh, 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 Let me say this real quick, Sunday. Uh, I'm going to now show you, brother, uh, about the topic that I will discuss, and that we're discussing as an example of the ignorance that your leaders have taught you. And I've already named it, so Sonetta is getting salty because I'm calling their name out, okay? As an example to show you how supremely dumb and ignorant you are in the word of God and how you all need to sit at my feet and acknowledge me as the bishop, bro, the global bishop. Now, brother, here's scripture number, because see, you did all that talking. And not one time did you refute this scripture right here. You didn't refute Genesis 3 and 20. You didn't refute, you didn't even touch it like you always do, like all of you one West hood boogers do. And Adam called his name, his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all the living. You didn't deal with all the living. You start doing the Hebrew hopscotch, running to running all the way to Revelations and a whole bunch of other books. They ain't got nothing to do with what's said right here. Now, here's another scripture to Zariac that I'm teaching you and your leadership and all of ISUPK all over the world. I am the bishop. I am the number one Israelite teacher on the planet, brother. And you're going to be humbled. You will one day capitulate to black Jesus minister. Uh, to Zariac. Uh, so now, do you see my screen, bro? I just switched to another. Your screen is up, brother. Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters, and all of ISUPK all over the world. Brothers and sisters, and all of ISUPK all over the world. Brothers, please look at uh, uh, Acts 17. Acts 17 to Zariac. I hope you're paying attention, bro. Acts 17, verse 26. And I'm going to start at verse 25. What does it say? No, I'm going to start at verse 24. And what does it say at verse 24? God that made the world and all things therein. See, we talk about creation now. We talk about creation. God, at verse 24, that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, 
dwelleth not in temples made with hands, verse 25, neither is worshiped with man's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he give it to all life, all life and breath and all things. Who had life and breath? The animals, all living things, and human beings. And what does this scripture tell us about the human beings that God created to Zariac? What did this scripture say in verse 26 about all the beings that God put breath in and God put life in, including all of man? What did God say to Zariac? Verse 26 to Zariac, and sit your big ass down, brother. You just need to capitulate, apologize, and, and, and tender your resignation, bro, and become my student, bro. 26 to Zariac, and had made of one blood. Do you see one blood, nigga? Do you see one blood with your little slow ass? One West clown ass, nigga, okay? 26 and hath made of one blood not two bloods three bloods or a hundred bloods or a thousand bloods to zaria and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth so you mean to tell me, God, that you made all of mankind from one blood and that God, that Eve is the mother of all? Goddamn, Tazariac. This is too goddamn easy, bro. But you know, this is hard as hell. This is goddamn trigonometry to you dumbass one West Israelites. For men to dwell on all the face of the earth and had determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. Brother, do you see right here, brother, the term one blood, bro? Do you see that, Tazariac? Do you see that right there, Sarnetta? Do you see one blood, Sarnetta? Yes. That one blood is Adam, you slow-ass nigga. All of you one West dummy-ass Israelites. The reason why Tazariac and the dummy leaders tell you to hate Christians, don't believe in Christians, don't listen to the Christians, because we're going to teach you the goddamn truth and expose your leaders as a bunch of goddamn convicts and con men and con artists and liars. A real quick appointment announcement, real quick, Black Jesus. I need everybody to click the link to go on over to the HOK. Sarnetta Studios will be closing down for this one. Y'all can continue watching it live on the HOK. I'm throwing the link inside of the chat. There's the link. All you got to do is click it, and it's going to take you right over to that right away. So let's get on over there, y'all. I'm going to wait for a couple of minutes before I turn off Sarnetta Studios. Go ahead, Black Jesus. Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters, we see plainly here in Scripture, because I worship God and not man. I worship God and the Scriptures and obey the Scriptures and not man like Tazariac does. He's going to continue to let his leaders make a fool out of him. He don't give a damn. And he's going to continue, and ISUPK and all one West Israelites are going to continue to make fools out of all of y'all because they don't care about you. They are lying to you and telling you to pay tithes while they're lying to you. God damn. We see here one blood has made all nations of one blood. Who's that one blood? Adam. Because God called Adam and Eve both Adam. And I showed you a second scripture right here to Zariac that Eve is the mother of all the living. And Adam called his wife Eve because she was the mother of all the living. Not some of the living, the, the living, slow man. Not some, not a few, not the most. It says all, bruh. And that from one blood, from one blood, God made all nations of men to Zariac. Brother Tazariac, brother, I love you, brother, and I like you, brother. Now, I don't like you like that now. You, you might want me to, but I don't, bro. Now, brother, I'm asking you to straighten your ass up because I know you're smarter than all the leaders in your camp. You're smarter than Johanna and Tazariac, and you know you ain't buying that bullshit these niggas is giving to you. You just going along with the goddamn get-along, Tazariac. 
It's time for you to, to leave, brother. Start your organ, your own organization, brother, and come up under the leadership of Black Jesus Minister. And let me teach you and deprogram you from all the goddamn dummy nigger ass garbage that your leaders have taught you, bro. You can respond. Hey, unshare your screen, simple nigga. Put your face back on there. I'm going to tell y'all why he hit his screen. He hit his screen because I spiritually punched that nigga in the eye. He didn't want y'all to see him. Put your face back on the screen, nigga. That's how you, that's how you respect the game. And the big leagues, we don't hide our face because we don't got punched in the mouth by scriptures. You're going to...